Hey lollipops, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Omo. It has come to my notice that a lot of women are being or are acting like the real wife material. Hmm. I've also heard that a lot of women are refusing gifts, like your husband will give you a gift and you'll be like, oh baby, you shouldn't have. Oh baby, it's too much. And oh baby, uh, it's too much. I take this 10,000 naira. Just give me only 10,000 naira. Hey. Well done, well done. You are doing well, honey. You are doing well. But stop spoiling business for us, please. Yes, yeah, so I'm speaking for myself. Please stop spoiling business for us. Yes, because I do not understand why, as a woman, your husband will give you a gift. And instead of you to receive it joyfully, so of you to say, oh, baby, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate this wonderful gift. You're asking him or you are telling him, oh, baby, this is too much. Or, oh, baby, is this not too much? You shouldn't have. And then keep that response to yourself. Like, if your husband doesn't give you gifts, if he doesn't give you money, who should he be giving those things to? No, answer me because I would like to know. I don't understand why you are being a ton on your, on your own flesh. Answer me. Answer me because I don't understand. You're working hard as a wife, as a woman in a, rela in a relationship. Someone is going to ask me how hard. In this part of the world where we are from, Nigeria, a lot of us women, we do so much for our families. We do so much for our husbands. We do a lot more for our husbands and children more than we do for us. No kidding, no capping. And now a, a responsible, kind husband in return say, okay, let me do this for my wife. And you, the wife, it's of you to receive it. You want to be the best woman in the world, Abby. Carry your cup alone and leave us alone, please. We are not in the same boat with you. As a woman, when your husband or your boyfriend, your fiancé gives you a gift, as long as you are not over demanding, you are not the one that says you must buy me a car and your husband buys you a car, buys you a phone, buys you things or give you um, money, like money gift. Please, I beg you in the name of God, accept this gift with your full chest. Stop acting weird to gifts. Look, when you reject a gift or when you say, oh, baby, you shouldn't have bought me this gift. You should have given me the money instead. It turns your husband. It turns your man off. Yes. Yes. Trust me. When your husband buys you a big phone, let's assume, instead of saying, oh, baby, you shouldn't have bought this phone, you should have given me the money, you should appreciate the phone. Use it with your full chest. He bought it for you. Now, this is how to, because sometimes we wish these men give us this money to do more important, important things, all right? So, now, in that situation where you have been meaning to have something for a gift, or you want something from your husband, it is very, very important that you start giving him a hint up front. When you know that maybe your birthday is around the corner or there is this type of mood that your husband is always in and he gives you this kind of, or this particular kind of gift, the only thing that you need to do is actually be telling him that ah, God should provide for you, that you want to buy a land. How ah, God should provide for me, or ah, there's this course I want to pay online, there's this uh, skills I want to learn online. Ah, God, do it for me, or ah, God, bless my husband for me, because I know if he's blessed, he will do this kind of stuff for me kind of thing is okay which one be uh i don't want it what's that one who are you doing i better yourself i want to keep on pleasure a lot of women do not know how to appreciate gifts from their husbands making this man feel that oh i shouldn't have i think this one is actually too much for her now for instance you are home and your good kind husband comes home home with a gift let's assume he bought you a phone now you collect that phone deep down your soul you are happy but there is something that you actually need more than that phone girl saying this to his face is not the right response now some women will go as far as saying oh 
Ah, this one fine, no, but ah, baby, you shouldn't have bought me a phone before. Tell me now. Come on now. This is a surprise. How is he supposed to tell you that he's going to surprise you with a phone? It is a surprise. If he tells you already this the whole surprise thing has is all is sport. Alright? And now you're going straight up, point and clear, because you want to be blunt. You tell him, ah, if you buy me a uh, skirt now and blouse, you know, I'm not to get clothes. You just go buy me. For it now, I want to use this phone. Do now. I get phone. You can still go buy me phone. That is a very, very bad approach to gift. In his mind now, he'll be feeling, oh, oh, there. I shouldn't have gotten. I shouldn't have gotten her this gift. See, she's not even appreciative. She doesn't even appreciate this gift. There are better ways to tell your man codedly what you want him to do for you when he's thinking of surprising you. Ahead of time, low key, if you know you want something, just start telling him. In his presence, just be doing things like, Ah, God, when will I have money to pay for this course that I want to learn? Ah, I've been meaning to learn crypto trading, but the fees is very high 50,000 euro. I won't get that from. Ah, go provide for my husband because I know if he has money, he will do it for me. What kind of key will enter? Now, when this man is thinking of surprising you, you will remember that ah, my wife talked about learning crypto trade, you know. Ah, Momo, if I pay for this skill for her, she'll be really, really happy. Those are the keys on how to, you know, enter man. Okay? Maybe there is this fine hair that you have been eyeing since, that you know that if your husband collects salary, you can afford it. Ahead of time, just start telling him, you know, just be in his presence and be talking to the Lord. Go deadly. No one is going to know. It. It's just the two of us. All right? So, quickly, when your husband is in the panel, maybe you have served him something nice. Maybe in bed, you're giving him cat style. Oh, my God! Wow! Help. You know. But be careful so you don't carry belly out. <clears throat> now, for instance, after you have fed your husband in and out of the bed, you know what I'm talking about. So, my mother will go for a year. Um, look at me, I'm all Reverend Sister dressed up. So, don't come and spoil me, please. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So, now when you guys are maybe just you know relaxed or maybe you're watching a movie, you should make sure that nothing is distracting and all guys fully ready and okay to listen. Low key, okay. Now you know that you are talking and you are referring to your husband, but then again, you are speaking to the most high gosh. Hey gosh, now let's this is how to do it. Hi. Now wow, there's this very fine hair eh, that that I know of or that I've seen somewhere. Oh god. Who will I even get this fine hair now? I go please provide for my husband so that I can buy him this very fine hair. Kids like that are better. Okay? Ahead of time, start telling your husband what you need. Alright? So men don't like you, you know, asking. Alright? Uh -huh. But it's good to ask who oh, uh -huh. if it's very, very urgent. If it's something that is very urgent. But if you know that it's just something that is not really very urgent. Okay? But you know that on a, on a normal day that your husband can do it for you. Then it's very okay for you to ask your husband. Stop being shy. Ask him. He's going to give you, all right? Now, if you have a need, just go straight to the point. Ask him, especially if it's something very, very, very important. Okay, there are some needs that are very urgent, all right? So just go straight to the point and ask him. Now, some men, because they just want to go out of their way, of their way to make you extremely happy. In his head, he feels that, okay, if he buys his wife, iPhone 15 or iPhone 13 or iPhone 20, it's going to really, really make her happy. And you now, as a woman, you have this special need. Maybe you want to have a land in your place, or maybe you want to have a certain kind of um, stuff. Maybe you want to you want to have a gold um, accessory. Now, what a woman, a wise woman, should be doing, right, is tell your husband. You know, ah, baby, don't worry. I just pray for God to provide for you so that you can buy me gold. I really want to have a gold necklace. Oh, baby, God will provide for you so that you can buy me a land. I really want a land. You know, you just, you know, give them this this simple, um, easy trick. Like, give them that hint already from the start. So that when it's time for this man to do something really, really good for you, he will know what to do straight up. Now, when your husband buys you a gift, and maybe that is not exactly what you want at that time, please, honey, do not say you should have bought me this instead. So what you should do now as a sensible woman is appreciate that gift. 
dance glorifying thing thank you appreciate it genuinely no fake appreciation then in his presence you talk to the most high god you say father thank you for my husband as he has given me this phone baba as a gift baba gift him something huge now lord i am praying that you provide so massively for him so that when next he wants to give me a gift he can give me a land kai or he can give me a laptop or he can give me a gold necklace or he can give me a gold earring that way low key gently wildly you have told of that what he should buy for you next time use your sense you must not make it childish you must not make it look like a problem and stop making your husband feel that every gift he's giving to you is too much for you. No gift is too much for you as a woman, as a wife. Do you know the sacrifice that you put in place for him and the children, your children? You sacrifice your body. 80% of women don't come back to their pre-pregnancy bodies after having babies. Most of us are left with saggy boobs, saggy stomachs, stretch marks, saggy flabby hands, you know, looking all different from we, who we, we, we used to be before. Now your husband buys you a gift because you are trying to make him feel that you are not too materialistic or you are a good woman. You are telling him, oh, it's too much. No gift is too much for you. And if your husband goes out of his way in a healthy way to make you feel happy, to buy you a very huge gift, my love, appreciate it. Thank him. Receive it with joy. Receive it without saying, oh, it's, too, it's not too much. You deserve it. There are some men that they take care of their side chicks more than they take care of their wives. And you, you have a good man that takes care of you as his wife and you are the mother Mary Jesus. And you are the good wife that don't like your husband spending. Help. Will you help? Now, this is what a reasonable woman should do. You have a very good husband that gives you money, that buys you gifts. Now, when this man does these kind of things every month, let's say they give you a lawi, like your husband gives you a lawi, like every month for yourself. Okay, let's use 100,000 naira, for instance. What a woman that is sensible, a wise woman would do, is you take like 30% out of that money, Use it to buy. At least a man that is giving you money every month should, you know, you should be able to have a good amount of savings. Out of that, your hundred thousand naira. Okay, let's be more, uh, let's be more realistic, okay? Because things are very expensive, and you want to at least get some things for yourself. Now, a good woman will use fifty thousand naira out of that hundred thousand naira. Buy yourself some things. Then carry that 50,000 naira, the other one, and save it for, for future. Okay, now, me, I don't like keeping cash as savings, especially in naira. I'd rather save in dollars than save in naira. You can buy things, maybe you bought clothes and shoes, maybe maybe two gowns. No do, no do. Country hard, country hard. You go see 15 oh, no. gown. Now you go the, hey, madam, stay away from my tripod now. Hey, God, this woman. This is my baby. Now, now you would find 23,000 naira, 25,000 naira a gown to buy. There are some nice 15,000 naira worth of gown out there. Buy two, 30,000. Or maybe one polo, 10,000 naira. You buy it. Then maybe you find slippers according to your size. Buy it. There are some people that they can afford to buy 100,000 naira worth of slippers. They can buy it. Buy it. If it's 5,000 naira own that you have to buy, buy it that way. Now, what you should do is, after spending 50,000 naira to take care of yourself, maybe you want to make your hair, you make your hair. You want to buy slippers, you buy anything you want to buy, buy. 
Now, the, a good woman that has sense will not save the other 50,000 Naira for rainy days. Now, this is my own advice. Saving in Naira will not add up. Some people do our job, it's okay. For some personal reasons, some people do our job from January to December. Maybe they want to buy some kind of things during December. That's okay by me. But I'm not talking about our job this time. Then the other 50,000 Naira, you can walk up to a good seller in the market, for them to give you a good, buy the one you can afford to. Or maybe that 50,000 Naira cannot even get you one carat or a one gram of um, 18 carat anymore. You wait next next month when your husband gives you that money again. You not take from there. You have one buy what you want to buy. Now, have the idea of buying valuable assets. You can start saving that your money in piggy vest. That will be hitting you more interest. You can buy dollar and keep. When dollar appreciates, you sell it. You make more money. Maybe some days, maybe maybe you do. We are in Nigeria. There are some days governments who our husbands. There are some days that your husband's work is not going as well as it used to go before. Keke drivers these days they are complaining that no no passengers anymore because fuel is too expensive now. Transport is more expensive for some people. They can't afford it. They would prefer to trek. So we won't trek from here to this place, then enter Keke from that place because it's going to be cheaper to their location from there. Now you see a Keke man now that used to bring home 5,000 Naira before, who now start bringing 2,000 Naira. And maybe when that man used to bring that amount, he used to give you money very well as his wife for your upkeep. Now, a sensible woman that has been saving can now be sustaining the family at this point that the husband is having down moments in, in, in his tricycle business. It applies to uh, government workers. Now look at the time that the almighty COVID-19 hit us hard. Who would ever tell us that we'll be at home for months without doing anything? Without tricycle uh, drivers uh, working? Without uh, 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 bricklayers working? Without, you know, a lot of people stopped working. It was, it's people that are trading, forest traders, crypto traders, people that are working online, that are doing remote jobs, that were enjoying at that period. People that go to office stopped working. Market women, a lot of us stopped working. Now, but if you have been saving for rainy days, just imagine that you are that kind of woman that if your husband give you 100,000 naira for chop money for yourself, you just save 50, spend 50, save 50, spend 50. Those times of that COVID-19, as people are crying that things are hard, no work, no money, you are not part of those people. So when your husband is spending on you, enjoy it and save from your side. Don't chop oil and forget tomorrow. Invest in dollars. Piggy Vest can do that. Bamboo can do that for you. Download the app. I just want to give you, move your 50% over to the other side. For tomorrow use, you get why. Now, go for bid button. You look for your husband and you don't find him anymore. You have something to start the life with. Enjoy you. Enjoy. Stop all this Christian mother wife attitude. You deserve it. Enjoy your husband's money. Because men are spenders in nature. They are providers in nature. If if you if you deprive your husband the opportunity to be a man in your life, girl, he's going to be spending the money somewhere else. And you're not going to like it. Madam, you know, um, understanding life material. Stop on gas money. Oh. Don't make on gas get used to. Uh, she doesn't like 10,000. Uh, she doesn't like 20,000. Let me give her 10,000. If I give this woman 50,000, I should say I did too much. Let me give her 10,000. Don't do that. Call it that 50. For him to bring out 50,000 naira to give him, that means he have some other money to run the family with. Men are not idiots, so they will check what they get. They will check, okay, if I remove this 100 kg, my wife, I still have other money to take care of the family with. You know how much he has, and he brings it out. And then it is wise for, now, it's wise for you now to spend wisely. Don't eat it all because your husband dash, you not dash, not be dash. Let me even spend. No. 
spend some money. You don't have to tell him more. I love it when I surprise my husband with a huge amount of money and he's like, ah, the way you forget them. I said, once you are dashing it here again now, I said, look, I can only save him. It makes sense. You don't have to tell him. Let it be a package. Let it be a surprise. Maybe your husband, maybe one big deal comes out. Because there are some opportunities that, that hits us when we don't have money. Now, maybe there's this fine opportunity that your husband needs five million naira to, to pursue, to get you guys a lot of money. Then this man has like um, four million naira less as you. Then as your wife has been saving for the rainy days, buying dollars, buying gold here and there. And it comes to you because he's, he's going to relate to you. Every good man relates with their wife when good opportunity comes in. Ah, babe, ah, there's this opportunity that I never told me about. Oh. They should be listening. What is that? Ah, ah, you see that for me than I get. Hey, madam, go and play. Go to that side, okay? Carry your fan and go that side. Good girl. So now your husband tells you that. Ah, boy, this opportunity, I need five million naira. And what I have now is just four million naira. Then you, in your mind, you are so excited because you know the other one million naira is not an issue. Just tell me, baby, is it one million that is making you down like this? Hey, you girl, don't go wife like me. Hey, that kind of fight is sweet. It's sweet. All right, you just tell him, don't worry, relax. I got you, baby. Then you'll be like, ah, how? But you're not working. Oh, your business is not really doing well. You want to carry from your business? He you said, baby, don't. I said, relax. Two more don't go now. It is your girl again. You know, that kind of vibe. It will make sense. Then you gather your gold, you go and sell them, or you withdraw your dollar, or you go to your piggy vest, or you sell some of your stocks, your foreign stocks, your Apple stock, your Netflix stock, your this Shopify stock, many stocks that you have been investing with all those 50, 50, 20, 20k, 10, 10k that you have been putting aside for years. Because if you keep it in Naira Bank, it's going to depreciate. So it's better you invest in other things like stocks and other things. If you want me to make a video on some kind of investment, on some kind of things that you can be putting your money as a housewife, all this some miscellaneous money, all this small, small change that will go to the market, we'll come back with. You, we save them all. Before you know it's 20,000, 30,000. You know, all this small, small money that we are gathering from, all this small, small money that our guy is giving us for, you know, take care of ourselves kind of money. Hit me up. Tell me in the comment section. Tell me, unique mom, tell us things that we can use our money to do. Eh? I will give you. There are many things you can invest in. They are going to appreciate. You have profits here and there. Let me go back before I, you know, leave the topic. Then now, you go and sell all those things. You gather one million for your girl. Tell me why your husband, when that business works through or goes through for him, he will not give you more money. Because he knows that his wife is not a careless spender. He go use the day brag. Okay, you know when things are hard for him, is hard for you because you know how to chop chop anyhow. Yeah. If you go tell them, say, no worry, let me just talk to my wife, she will handle it. That kind of vibe. Hey, God, I beg go. <laughs> that kind of stuff, they are sweet. They are nice. You feel happy. You feel so proud. It, do you know that it's better that your husband borrows money from you as his wife than going outside to borrow? We call it borrow because he will want to give us back. Most of us have given our husbands money that we don't even remember anymore. Thank you. Now make we begin talk. <laughs> See him blushing. How much you give up? We never give him before. How much have you given to your husband that you are blushing like that for? <laughs> all right. So um, I've been talking too much already, you guys. So just play safe, all right? Be that woman that you help your husband out, okay? You know she help your husband out. He's always going to do because he knows that you are not a careless spender. Mm. All right, my lollipops. So I'm going to end this vlog here. It's been a long video with my mini madam here disturbing me up and down with her noise and all of that. I am going to thank God for this for this beautiful gift. All right. So until next time, my lollipops, stay safe and play big always. Mwah.